Well, South Africa are known as the chokers in the big tournaments. Have they got the resources to get over that final hurdle in this year's World Cup? Well, injuries have been a problem for South Africa leading into this World Cup. They've already lost Norge out the door and Morris has replaced him, but they're worried, concerned about Rabada's back. Nagidi's got an injury. Stain has got a shoulder injury as well. Please, all three of them be fit for this tournament. Not just for the entertainment value, but for the strength of that South African team. Now, let's get into the bowlers while we're uh, with these injuries. The bowling lineup in their first 11. Rabada, Nagidi, Stain, Tahir, and Pek Lakwaya. All of these bowlers in 2018 have averaged 30 or under. They've got strike rates of under 35, all five bowlers. And they've also got great economy rates, all around about the five and a half mark. This is probably the best bowling attack in the World Cup. I said Pakistan were the other day, but I was wrong. I've had to reshuffle, re-look at myself, and this is the team to beat in the bowling department. Now they're backups. They've got Dwayne Pretorius. He's quality as well. He's got an average of around about 40 in one day international cricket since 2018, and he hasn't got a bad strike rate too. That's around about 40, so that's not too bad. Uh, they've also got Morris there, but I don't think Morris will play a game. Uh, his figures don't really stack up, so I think he'll be there and he'll only get a game if there's a couple of injuries, he'll be carrying the drinks. But the other success that they've got in there, that will play a couple of games, they've got a left arm Chinaman. If you're gonna win a tournament, you've gotta to have the left arm Chinaman in there. It's Shamsy, and he can bamboozle the best of them. So, their bowling attack, they've got depth, and uh, they've got the good numbers. What about their batting? Is their batting gonna stack up? Well, Amla hasn't played much for them uh, since 2018. He's been dropped earlier on in the year. So, they've had Markram, De Kock opening the batting. De Plessis batting out three. Van der Dusen out four. Uh, Dumini, Miller, and uh, Amla, he's popped down there out seven. All these batters average over 40. And Van der Dusen, he's averaging 80 in the start of his career. De Kock, Dumini and Miller get their runs at a good strike rate as well. So they've got variety in their batting. They've got players that can bat through the whole innings, but they've got players that can attack as well. Markram and De Kock opening the batting complement each other. Markram can just uh, push and nudge while De Kock goes after the bowling. Now Markram, his international career sort of wasn't that good a couple of months ago. What has he done? He's gone over and he's playing county cricket for Hampshire and he's starting to get back into the uh, runs column. He's making huge amounts of runs over there in English conditions. So all that said, all those numbers, I think England might be the favourites, but I think South Africa, this is their year. South Africa could be winning World Cup 2019. Go the Greens.